Okay, good morning, students. So now today class we have to discuss with that. Uh, what are the important questions you have to getting on first unit? So first one uh, I have to discuss with the explain the steps in the data mining process. The need diagram. So here we can write the what are the steps you have to follow in data mining process. Uh, we have to write the diagram related to the, what are the databases, then data pre-processing, then data warehouse. So see this diagram will show us. See here, this is the step-by-step -step process of uh, data mining. So here is the database. That is the data integration of the, all the data you have to integrate it and data cleaning process. That is the data pre-processing techniques you have to apply. Then the uh, consistent data you have to represent it in data warehouse. And from this data warehouse, task relevant data you have to identify and you have to perform the data mining the, uh, techniques you have to apply here. You can get the result. That result you have to display in pattern image. This is the step by step process of uh, uh, data mining. So that is the first question that is explain the steps uh, in data mining process with the need DAG. So you need to draw uh, here, uh, this is a uh, diagram will shows. Uh, see this diagram, you draw this diagram and you have to explain the step-by-step -step process. Data mining steps in the knowledge discovery process. You can write uh, any one of these questions. Uh, like this, they will be asked uh, questions like this. Explain the steps in the data mining process with the need diagram, or they will be asked like this. Explain the step-by-step -step process of in KDD process. Explain the data mining steps in the KDD process and the knowledge discovery process. And now we can write this, uh, draw this diagram. I have to explain each and data, what is the data cleaning? And what is the step by step process of the two stages? Uh, data cleaning, integrating, selection, transformation, data mining, pattern evaluation, knowledge representation. So we have to discuss all these steps. Okay, that is regarding to the first uh, question. And the second question uh, explain the architecture of the data mining with the help of NEET diagram. So, what is the architecture of the data mining? Uh, simply you can discuss here, this is the data mining, uh, architecture of the data mining system. So draw this diagram, what is the graphical user, what is the pattern evaluation, then data mining engine. So database servers are a data warehouse server. So the data warehouse server is a collection of databases and data warehouse you have to represent it. And the result we have to give in to, uh, uh, to the graphical user. So here, uh, you can use the from you have to take uh, previously if any uh, previously we have to already search that information from you have to taking from the knowledge base one so draw this diagram and i have to explain each one that is the uh, database data warehouse information repositories database or data warehouse server and knowledge base and as well as uh, data mining engine pattern evaluation module and graphical agent you have to explain these concepts that is the architecture of data mining system. Yeah. Next one. Uh, what kind of uh, data of data the mining can be performed? Explain in detail. What kind of data you have to can be performed on? Explain in detail. Uh, clearly, it shows that what kind of data here. This is the what kind of data can be mined. So, what type of data we have to mining uh, process we can apply. That's the concept you have to discuss it, uh, in this uh, in this concept. So they will be asked like this: On what kind of data the mining can be performed and explain in detail? So write down this one. Uh, data mining can be applied any kind of uh, information repositories like database data and data warehouse and transaction databases and advanced systems and flat files and World Wide Web and advanced database systems, include object oriented object relational. So many databases, not only these are the databases, 
geometric uh, ge geometric databases you have to consider all the databases uh, from that uh, those databases you can uh, receive uh, retrieve that what you have to require that information you have to retrieve uh, and it can be mined and uh, what you require that information you have to retrieve uh, can ret uh, retrieve from those databases Okay, here, uh, what kind of data can be mined? That is the databases data and the relational databases. Uh, databases data means you have, what are the databases you have? The all you have to discuss today. That is the DBMS, Data Waste Management System. And uh, second one is the data warehouse. From the data warehouse, already, and the databases are inconsistent data we can say. Whereas what is the data where it consists of consistent data. So uh, the, from the data warehouses, from the databases, and uh, from the transactional databases, this, uh, from these uh, three types of uh, uh, data, so you can mine. So this is the th third question. That is the B. And uh, second, uh, second, uh, third one. Next one, uh, emulate the applications of data mining. So emulate the applications of mining, simply you can discuss it here. Uh, what kind of applications you have to use in data mining? See here, this is the data. What a kind of application can be targeted? So clearly, it shows that see here. Uh, what kinds of applications can be targeted here? Uh, simply, you can use. Uh, data mining can have uh, has seen great success in many applications. So most of the applications they have to use data mining one. So mainly this uh, data warehousing and data mining you have to use in business and intelligence. So already, uh, what are the concepts you have to discuss? With the frequent set, uh, frequent set items. That is the market basket analysis we have to use. So here. Uh, most of the applications are related to the business business. So in this technology, we have to provide the historical and current and predictive views in future, present and future views of the business operations we have to apply. Uh, in those applications, we have to use the data warehouse and data mining. Uh, generally, uh, in databases, you have to use the online uh, transaction processing you have to use. But whereas here, in data warehousing and data mining, you have to use the online analytical process. So whatever the data you have, from that data, you have to analyze what is the present status of now, um, what is the trend is going on. And in future, the trend, uh, the trend of the uh, our business they have to it will be represented uh, by you in those applications we have to use it is data warehousing and data mining that is the business intelligence uh, mainly uh, in the business intelligence we have to use it is uh, data warehousing and data mining and the second one is web search engines so you have to specialize specialize the computer server that searches the information on the web that is regarding to the web search engine. Uh, in those case, in the in these applications also you can use it, the DW and DM. And next, uh, this is uh, these are the two cases mainly. These are the two cases you have to use it, the in those applications you have to use it, the data warehousing and data. Okay. Uh, next one, uh, so here, uh, what kind of data can be made can form? And embedded the applications of the data mining. So in the applications, mainly you have to use the <coughs> business intelligence as well as web searching. Next one, what are the challenges in data mining and that motivate the mining tasks? So here, uh, what are the challenges mainly you have to represent? Uh, what are the major issues 
Then you have to represent it here. Uh, data mining is dynamic fast expanding field is the uh, great strength. Here uh, some issues or challenges in data mining research, uh, partitioning them into five groups, mining methodology, user interaction, and uh, efficiency and scalability, diversity of data types, and data mining and business cycle. So here, uh, that is the First one, uh, methodology. In this methodology, user interaction in different issues, like uh, mining various on new trends of knowledge, mining knowledge in multidimensional space. Uh, these are issues, uh, the ranges related to the mining methodology. And second one is the user interaction. Uh, what are the research you have to, how to interact with the data mining system? how to incorporate to the user's background knowledge in mining and how to visualize and uh, comprehend the data mining results. Uh, that is interactive mining or incorporation of uh, data background knowledge, head of data mining and data, data mining query language, DMQL. So this is all the information you have to represent that is issues will be presented here. Efficiency and scalability, diversity of databases, and data mining and this side. So next one, define data mining, uh, explain in detail about the major issues and present in the data mining. So issues you have to represent it here. So issues, just now you have to discuss the issues. So similar question uh, issues also. And next one, uh, what is the origins of uh, data mining? And explain it. So you can uh, discuss with that uh, basic history of the data mining. So this is the origin of the data mining. Data mining is nothing but uh, discovery of knowledge data from the large databases. And uh, here you can represent the evolution of, uh, this is the origin of the data mining. The evolution of data mining and the data warehouse, In development of data mining, we should know the evolution of the database. Data collection and data creation in the 1960s. And like you have to use the file management systems, you have to use it here. And uh, later, so in 1970s, they have to use the DBMS. So like uh, simple uh, hierarchical databases, they have to develop it. Uh, to storing the information, uh, relation, data, relation databases also they have developed in 1970s to 1990s. This is the origin of, generally you have to represent uh, origin of the databases. 
origins of data mining explain in detail so i have to explain these concepts so web based and here this is a new generation from the 2000 onwards developed integrated information system then they have to develop for the data mining data mining simply you can say mining the knowledge from the large amount of data simple definition you can write and next one how you can perform the integration of data mining system with the database and data warehouses how you can perform the integration of the data mining system with the database and data warehouse system can discuss here I have to explain about this. Uh, uh, perform the integration of data mining system with the database. Data warehouse system is perform more. In, uh, have to whenever you have to integration with the data mining system, we can perform better. Why? Because uh, database system have the inconsistent data, but whereas in data warehouse system we have the consistent. Data. uh here you can use the data warehouse system uh you want to explain in detail uh, so you have to write this one so here like this data warehouse and database and the last one is uh, you can discuss with that uh and discuss in detail about different kinds of patterns can be mined so here these are the patterns can be mined so here this is the data mining functionality or patterns the mining functionality is used to display the kind of of pattern to be found in data mining tasks data mining tasks are mainly you have to classify it two categories one is the descriptive uh, task and the second one is the predictive task so descriptive uh, mining task that characterize the general properties of the data in the database and uh, predictive mining task you have to uh, perform the inference of current data order and make application so the next one uh, you have to discuss with that uh, a uh, concept and a uh, class description the uh, individual classes of the concepts in the summarized and concise the precise the terms called the class and concept description data characterization and data distribution uh class and the description description of the individual class or concepts in summarized concise and precise terms called the class and the concept description this description can be divided into character data characterization and data description so you have to explain the description about the characterization and discrimination and then uh, you have to discuss with that uh, mining frequent patterns associations and uh, association analysis and this is regarding to the uh, description and next one in the prediction you have to discuss with that uh, uh classification and the regression prediction have to explain in a regression and a cluster analysis of their analysis so these are the three concepts mainly have to represent it as in classification so this is regarding to the uh, first unit uh, important questions so 